All right, traders, I'm back again with another video, and today I'm just going to take uh, a look at a few things. I want to look at mainly some divergence I want to show you guys, but also there's a very strong, great opportunity coming up um, soon, maybe, from what I'm looking at on the charts. And that's going to be with the New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, and that's what you're looking at right here on the uh, monthly time frame. There's no need for any indicators here we don't need anything we can remove everything here as far as on this chart but I'm gonna leave the bottom indicator on there because I want to show you something Ichimoku is doing us no justice here it's you know not for what we're looking at alright so looking at this chart this is the monthly chart and this is the highest high of all time for the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Last time I showed you guys the, um, let's go back to that chart. Take you to the monthly time frame. Last time I showed you something like this, it was the monthly time frame of the Aussie New Zealand dollar. And I told you to watch because price was reaching an all time low. And I said, when price reaches that all time low, look for price to bounce off of that level and continue upwards well here's where that all-time low fell in and then price attacked it again and shot away from it but then now price hit there and so far it's starting to move up again so we'll go to the daily time frame and you can see how far price has moved off of that level very nice moved off of that level so last time we we reached the all-time low this time we're on an all-time high on a pair and even looking at this uh, Aussie New Zealand dollar there's a few things on this chart that I still like maybe the bounce off of this um, Kumo cloud here I have my 100 period moving average and 50 period moving average in here and I use those as um support and resistance and also as filters a lot of times you'll see price move up to this uh, cloud and if you don't understand that you're in such a deep uh, trend like this you know if you're not looking at the overall picture and looking at how deep this trend is you may just zero in on the pair like this without the uh, moving averages in there so if you zero in on it like this and you're looking at it you don't realize what kind of a trend this pair is in and then you take this break out here but being in a deep retracement a deep um, trend like this I don't think that that trade would have really worked out you know it wouldn't have been a trade that I would look at but if you're not looking at the whole chart moving your uh, chart out and also seeing how deep the uh, trend is how steep it is you may take that breakout now a lot of times breakouts do happen like this because you can see where it bottomed out here so you would have put a um, this is a nice support level here and guys you really need to have your support and resistance down pat you need to make sure you're drawing these levels and having these levels on your chart because these are the levels where you're going to trade around all right and then we're messing with the old chart still but there's a lot of things you could learn off of these charts and I'm gonna show you these things just right off the bat we're doing this stuff you put this level in now you could see it looked like a little range and you didn't realize what kind of a trend you would be in and you look at oh we're in a little range here and now price breaks out to the upside because you're thinking it's gonna go well also you have to realize you got this resistance level on you also with a such a steep trend like that those are all kind of things that will let you know that this breakout wouldn't have worked out <coughs> but anyway this is the uh, Aussie New Zealand dollar on a daily time frame and this is one that I showed you before but look at this again because we want to see if this level is gonna hold there's a couple things that could happen here you know we could see this level hold 
this cloud hold and then we can continue upwards or else price may com come back down to this low again so there's a couple opportunities developing on on that and then also you could put your Fibonacci retracement levels in to see where price may attack coming off of this low here and I would probably draw my fibs from you can draw them from any level really but try to get the best level but even from this level down to here this is a 38.2 retracement and then price dropped off now the whole move even if we put our fibs up here then we look at a 38.2 our 50% retracement level expecting price to come up to those levels off of the bounce off of this all-time low and if it continues to go higher and break those levels then you're gonna look for the next level and so on but that's Aussie New Zealand dollar and just opening up these charts and looking at them just show you some things real quick but let's get back to the New Zealand dollar US dollar this is the one I wanted to look at now there's reasons that I love this level and I'm going to tell you, number one, you have a double top once we hit this level. Double, a double top is an indication of um, weakness, buying weakness, and selling strength. And a lot of times that's going to be a bearish move. And the first time it hit that level, here it is, hit that level and dropped almost 1,500 pips. And came close to attacking that level again. Didn't quite make it, but dropped very far. Now we're at this level again. I can see the weakness already and you didn't even see weakness here you saw a little weakness here because you could see the smaller candles but you didn't see weakness here because you were in such, you were in an uptrend and you had all these green candles and then boom the level got rejected hard this level must be very strong it got rejected very hard now price moves up you can see you have this little doji spinning top candle that's showing you indecision already before we even get to that level and we may never even reach that level but hopefully we reach this level because that's where I want to hit I'll feel safer and I'll show you on the um, daily time frame we're on the monthly right now but also another thing that's showing me some very strong weakness is the divergence you can see the divergence in this uh, chart as I look at the divergence here you see the red line on the oscillator this is the ultimate oscillator one of the best indicators for um, divergence and I'm not using this indicator for anything other than divergence. I'm not looking for uh, overball and oversold levels and stuff like that. I'm just looking at divergence because that's showing me that there's some weakness in the market. All right. And here's where this high is, and that's that high here. But the next high is here. It's going to probably hit this level. And if it doesn't, then this is the high. But this high is nowhere near that level. It's way off. It dropped off way off price continued moving upwards while the oscillator moved downwards that's divergence all right so that's what I'm looking at there that's the monthly time frame let's go to the daily time frame and on the daily time frame even without any indicators on this chart this chart is very tradable because here's a support and resistance level we're right up on this resistance level there's a possibility that price bounces off of this level you know it's close of today is Friday so more than likely this level holds we're not gonna break that level we only have 25 minutes left in the market so this level is gonna hold here and what we'll look for is maybe um, when the market opens up see if we can break this level and close up here now there's a couple ways I would play this this is a zone up here this zone comes in at 87 88 5 and 88 4 1 5 so that's the levels of that zone and you could put those on your chart 
87.885 and 88.415. Now, what I'm looking for, hopefully, I'd love to see price come back up to this level at least. I don't want to see this level hold. I want to see this level get attacked again. So once this level gets attacked, price hits this level. Hopefully, it moves up even higher if it comes up to the highest high. I can put an entry order in. I'll be below the market. I'll stay below the market once price moves up to that level. And if it gets higher, I'll put an entry order in below the market. All right. Maybe I put it in at the middle of the zone or at the lower end of the zone. And I could put my stop loss above the zone. Now, know that there's going to be a lot of orders around this level. You could see what it did last time on the monthly time frame. So there could be a possibility of that the market moves up higher just to take those orders out and then drops back down but I'm gonna look for the pattern to develop the double top and then trade off of that you don't need any indicators to show you this trading off of this support level the thing that you're gonna look for is basic price action uh, you're gonna look for price action candles you're gonna look for you know indecision candles to show you that there's weakness and the market may stop and turn around and reverse they call those reversal candles like the doji and then maybe you'll get a you know you get a pin bar or something up here but we'll have to wait till that time comes and see what happens up here and find the uh, entry that we want to get into once price starts making a lower low closing below the previous low off of the hit of this level then that's gonna be our indication to get in and put a stop loss above that level depending on how far it is all right, so that's what you're looking at there. And last chart I'm going to look at is this Aussie Yen. Just want to show you guys again, it's so important to learn how to draw your support and resistance levels. All right, so get these levels in, have them on your chart. You'll know where your your um, trade or your price may stall. And you'll wonder why if you don't have them on your chart. But I wanted to show you that there's more divergence on this chart again. First of all, you can see the market, the oscillator made a low here, the lowest low. And then it started to make higher lows. And this low here is higher than this previous low. And so on. Well, the market, the price was coming downward still. But then fi price finally stalled right here. And it looks like it flatlined here. So what I'm looking for, and you know, divergence can last for a long time. So no saying that this level is going to hold and I will take you to some charts that show you how long it lasts but here we are price dropping down now we're looking to get off in a trade off of the bounce of this level here because we're looking for this level to hold off of the divergence now no telling how far it could go but this is the level that we're looking to get into a trade off of the bounce of this level now that the market close is closing pretty soon you look like you have this doji here and you had it previous doji this big one here so this is a lot of indecision at this level right here and you could see back here there was some indecision and then the market took off and moved up so we're gonna look for the same thing here and maybe we look for where price opens or opens up uh, next time the market opens we put entry order above the doji but we want more confirmation so we want to get a close higher than this doji you know a lot of times you put a entry order up here for a break above the doji but then price only comes back down and it did it to me last, this past week on a trade that I showed you guys I put an entry order above the doji price went higher but then made another doji even lower and then price went and went higher so I got in one candle early and I lost about 40 pips on that trade alright so that's one thing I like to see the close a lot of times but with the close it can be so deep or high that you don't even get into the trade because it's just too much of a stop loss alright so I always want to be as close to support and resistance as I can when I'm making a trade but that's what I wanted to show you guys some divergence do this on your charts just really look for that divergence at support and resistance levels you know once you see the market continuing to go down and the, and the um, oscillator starting to go up or vice versa there's going to be chances for you to get into the market all right so that's what I'm looking at traders um hopefully that helped you guys and traders until next time don't forget about that New Zealand dollar US dollar reaching the all-time high again because I think that's going to be a nice opportunity again don't forget about that trade 
uh, may happen sometime next week or it may not but just go back to your charts keep an eye on that set price levels price alerts and make sure you're ready for that all right traders until next time god bless so long